Okay, so this is what I got yesterday. Um, I had a little bit of kind of little room for small stuff, but when I was driving yesterday, uh, I turned into an area. Let's see, you know, it's late, three in the morning, kind of thing. And there's a cop sitting right near the intersection, side street, and he's walking around. So when I saw him, I went left, went left, and left, and went back home. You know, when you have a, a car full of crap like this, you know. And it's all good stuff, so you say, well, how do you explain yourself, right? They're going to say, spring clean? Oh, yeah, sure. You know, because you, when you cherry pick good stuff, like nice bikes and good frames, it looks unusual, but look at, the, you know, it's just stuffed. The top has stuff. But this is what I got of uh, yesterday's load, and it wasn't wasn't nowhere near full. But I got all this here. You can see on video, it was dark. This, those lights, not those bikes, but all this here. Not that gutter, but everything else. All that came out of the little red yesterday. All this. It's a lot of material. It's hard to believe. All That's a lot of material. Two tires and wheels are on top, but the rest are inside. One lawnmower. But, um... Uh, my brother-in-law went out there and picked some stuff up. Um, yesterday was really good. What happened was... I didn't get to bed till out of like 6.30. And what happened was... Processing would take too long, so the upload was too long so what I did is I just unloaded one now but I usually I'll process two wake up and put them both on but it ended up being I forgot to I don't know I must have been tired forgot to upload one so one's uploaded now and the other half is is going to continue but there's a lot of material here so it's hard to believe how much material is here and this van is jam-packed full that's what I'm saying it's the, the workout Screw and nails here. The workout is the thing. Like, you know, to unload something like this, look at this. It's a solid wall of metal. Like, look at this. I have to unload this. And if I would had this van yesterday, I would have had a little more scrap. See, look at this. It's a solid, solid amount of metal. And I, I'm not filming everything 100%. I'm filming, you know, highlights of stuff. But after all, it, it looks the same. Look at this. They're both, these could be good. They both look like brand new. They're in good shape. Twist edge. Never heard of it. These old, this looks like well used, but these look good. So sometimes a carburetor gets stuck or something or needs cleaning. But uh, I'm going to move this over here and put another load there. And then I'm going to load this as quick as possible because I need to go and um, pick up leftovers because pickups today. The area I cruised last night, the first half wasn't that great, but then I found the hot spot, which I thought originally the far side gets picked up first, but no, the north side is picked up first. For some reason, because I asked the guy, when's the garbage day? He said Wednesday. It wasn't Wednesday, it was Thursday. So, but regardless, anyways, um, I'm going to go back to that south end because what, what happened is, is they don't take big appliances, they don't take um, electronics, batteries, you know, I don't think they even take fluorescent lights, they leave them all behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cherry pick what I can or, you know, take everything. With that vehicle, it'll be just like a vacuum. Uh, I'll take stuff that I can at least put in shred. Uh, depends how much there is, right? Uh, there was this double sink yesterday, but it was magnetic, so I didn't take it. But there's a lot of material. It doesn't look like, but imagine if this was a, a big mountain. Just look at the lawnmowers. There's so much material here. And you got to remember, this is a... I got um I can't remember how many... I'll let you know how many loads, but I got three loads in red only. The rest were done here. This is no big trucks or nothing. This is just two vans doing this. There's a lot of material here. This is going to be just a little shred pile, but this is all dirty aluminum here. And that's all processed aluminum. There's electronics in here. The pots and pans are unbelievable. I scrapped a lot already that were magnetic bottoms, but there's so many pots and pans. It's, it's crazy. I was getting three at a time. you never believe it. Look at this. All this lawn chairs. That's all lawn chairs. All aluminum. I got a ladder. These are aluminum bikes. I got two aluminum bikes yesterday. I got aluminum bikes there. And these are, this snorkel is not bad, but see the shocks rust. What do you do? That's the problem. 
that's why they kick the corner because the shocks it gets rusty and they and you know sometimes the chain is stiff but uh like i said i find everything in pairs look two fast tracks who would have suspected you know i find so many things like i found if i found one car battery i find another car battery and then you never see them right i found three yesterday three car batteries yesterday and i found one gel cell on top of that but it's just unbelievable it's just I think it was I think it was a really good successful year. I mean, it's, oh, I got so much wire, like it's unbelievable. There's wire here. It's just like mountains of wire. There's so many cords. I cut didn't cut many cords in in the first half, just because to go out there. I should have took a little red out there, but I never did because I, I worked a lot on this one. But the fuel was too much for this one, so I didn't cut a lot of cords. But I cut cords. This, this area lots and lots of microwaves AC units you know a couple jacks like this I got two like that it's a little bit smaller you know a little more dirty here you know I kind of I try to make piles where I can I can access dirty in HMS see this is like a dirty pile here a little bit of HMS here when offload it does like a tin pile that's aluminum I got so many tires and wheels look at this here, over there, there. I got up quite a few there too. Look how big the pile there is. So, you know, more bikes here. Like all these got to be processed. If I throw that in a shred, I'm only going to get eight cents a pound. I'll pop that mortar off and go 36 cents a pound. That's the difference. And that mortar's, um, well, it would be say, okay, say the mortar's 30 pounds, so I'm getting 240. And if it's um, 35 cents, I'm getting like $10. See, I'm getting three times my money to take the mortar off. And it only takes three bolts, and the fourth bolt is your uh, propeller blade. And I have a lawnmower there, two lawnmowers in there, and I got two or three in there. So, I mean, my arsenal is getting big. I, I get all, This is my uh, lawnmower army right here. Look at that. I don't think I had that many lawnmowers before, or you know, engines, engine things, and even these weed eaters are good because it's not so much those ones, but the ones that have the mortars on, the dirty aluminum, right? And some some could be good, like those two I might put aside. I put that one aside because it's pretty clean; it's a still. But you have to really look at it because a lot of times it could be major issues with it. This is my brother-in-law found it. It's kind of unusual, but you know. A guy who has time to work on these, it could still be good, right? But I tried to sell the stuff in the garage, so it's hard to get money. But the, the, the guys like the straight shafts because they're more commercialized, right, than, than the, the twisted ones. Anyways, I'm going to get this, start unloading here, and then we're going to see you on the road. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so if you watched my video, I uh, left these behind as these are garage door panels. Um, so I left two behind, so now I got them. I didn't film the guy helped me actually, the kid, the young guy. So we're just gonna cherry pick whatever leftovers we have here. I saw two bikes up the road. I gotta go back. I just took a detour here and I saw this so. So spring cleanup's officially over. It's just a matter of uh, what's left behind, what they didn't take. So we'll just uh, play like that. I saw a bunch of windows last night. I'm hoping they're still there. I mean, a scrapper's made took them, but the single pane windows, and I'm just gonna crunch them all up and then dispose of them. Uh, oh, like when I do my garbage run. And this stuff is good because it goes into shatters in a million pieces so it's easy to uh, put in a bag right so it's not sharp so, so, um, vacuum there i have to get my cord cutter set up and all that i don't know if i want to take vacuums but at least take the cord off it's see it's just just a bunch of junk Look at the cord that comes with it. Decent. 
So that's what we're doing. So it looks like they don't take vacuums. Well, someone's flagging me for something. Let's see what they want. One second. Yeah. One second. I'll have to see what they want. What do you have? Yeah, no, I, I don't take printers. You know, go to the bottle depot. Huh? You know, the cycle place, the bottle depot? They didn't take Yeah, no, they take, they take, no, bottle depot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They take those back. Uh, I, I have no right, that's why. Okay, well, about just bring it to here and I'll take it then. Okay, yeah. Just gonna ride soon. Okay, one's aluminum, but that giant should be aluminum. One aluminum, so that's okay. Sitting here. I'll take it. This one's actually a nice bike here. It's in pretty good shape. Not very really rusted or anything. But there's aluminum. Well, that's even better. Glad I turned around. So I'm actually going to a different area. See, I understand it. You didn't see, I didn't see this last night. But then again, you know, there's so much trash. You know, you, don't, you can't see everything. Perfect. I guess we're going to take some junk too, I guess. Because we don't really know what's out there, so. Big enough load anyways. See this door, like say, like this is like this. You know, between the seat and everything crammed. Looks like this guy's kind of uh, out of luck. I'm gonna take the e-waste just because you know uh, I'm happy that they're, they're throwing it out so I don't mind taking it otherwise next time they, they may not throw it out but I'm not taking printers really I mean See, this stuff, they'll never take it. It's a printer, I mean, uh, it's a typewriter, but sometimes you get the digital typewriters that actually, this one's probably digital, so I'm taking that one. There's got to be some IC chips and memory and RAM and stuff. Something like this. Meter bike. Sounds nice. I guess the scrappers took a day off today. Well, some people just. They only go around when the air, there's stuff everywhere. Like I'm trying to pick up stuff, you know, odds and ends. I'll just take whatever random stuff. Hello, sir. Yeah. There is an electric bike if you want. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. How, whereabouts is it like? Is it in the property? Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't want it, right? No. Okay, I'll take it. Thanks. I'll drive ahead. Yeah. Thank you. That's electric bike here. It's actually really heavy. It's a real bike, actually. With both the garbage trucks right there are working. So there must be garbage. Still must be garbage here. 
unless you're taking metal, which is really possible. It's actually a nice, kind of a nice bike. It's actually a surreal bike, actually, not a not a fake one. So what kind of what kind of batteries is gonna have? But could be lithium ion. Who knows? It says mini something aluminum wheels. It's gotta be I don't know 100 pounds. So I think they're take. Let's go closer and see what they're doing. You ever see a little bit of action? They're coming here, so I'll, I'll stay tight to the edge here. I'll watch them pick this garbage up. Oh yeah, they're still still working. The hole for a second. Right now it's 5:48, so they're really hustling these guys. They probably start like like 6:30 in the morning. But they're like super hyped up these guys they're like moving like crazy so they're they're all obviously in good shape and they're probably fairly young let's see what he picks up that side's got like we'll see they bypass some stuff maybe because it's it's stuff in garbage bags too you don't really know what's in there that's another thing too i had a garbage truck behind me too uh, further further down we'll see what he does on this this pile here if he even touches it. He didn't touch the pile. He just even looked just looked at it. These guys are Rempel. Oh, these guys are um the green waste. Okay, that's why they're doing green waste. So Rempel. I'm not sure if they have the contract here, but this could be overflow. Yeah, exactly. It was green green waste. As I can see the back of this truck was all full of uh, cuttings, grass clippings, and so on. Okay, well, we did pretty good so far. Let's uh, see what else we could rummage up. Could be an all nighter, maybe. Who knows? There's enough. Could be enough scrap and junk laying around. There's appliances too. My brother-in-law said he saw a bunch of appliances too. You know, but you know, we'll just see. If the TVs were better, I would take TVs. But just recently, it's all plastic now. It used to be all sorts of. Uh, you know metal backs and stuff metal frames now it's just the whole thing's plastic not worth nothing and then you got to deal with plastic and where do you dump it it goes in the garbage and the end result is i gotta pay for and the and the circuit board is only this big it used to be like circuit boards like this all over the place heat sinks and like the plasmas right these ones you just forget it's lcds whatever they are but they're just total nothing let's get off the street here i find sometimes the side roads cul-de-sacs are better okay oh, these are really heavy oh they're old school heavy that super heavy maybe that one has water in it i don't know but that one almost sounds like there's water in it but this one is still pretty heavy these are small sizes so i can strip them really easy the ones that are really big it's a little bit harder He's been sitting there all week. I was just, well, I kind of like to not overdo in tires. I like to put maybe five or six tires in my load. And then you're not filling the truck up full tires. Because you know not many people are going to take them anyway. So then you could just cruise around and get more stuff. And then uh, those other windows, there's only about one window left. Most of the windows are gone. And then some slider windows are left. But uh, there was one that was a bigger frame I might like to take maybe come back for it we're just gonna cruise around here and just see but I don't, they took a lot of debris away I cannot believe it like some people had just ridiculous amounts of trash but it's all gone the streets totally clean it all depends on the guy in the truck it, like the workers maybe they're slipping money to the guys say hey take it all here's 20 bucks or beer or whatever right because it just doesn't make sense some piles they just they only take a little things right there's something here a little blender probably hit it in the, in the trash that's a couple cords of things see i was here well this one who knows you would never see it but a couple cords let's see the cords on that tv set might be gone already, who knows? 
nothing's on there. If those TVs weren't so big, I would take some, but just way too heavy. And this, for the little amount of copper, you get maybe half a pound to a pound of copper. Sometimes it's really not worth it. You know, you have to deal with it and stuff. Take it to the recycle depot and then, but you, you only get one or two boards out there anyways. The boards are actually not that good. It's just the yoke and a couple, a couple wires and stuff. The computer monitor ones are better. They're at least better circuit boards. Look at the car here. That's a beauty. Wow. I've been to this car for at least 25. Yeah. And it uh, took me a long time. How long have you owned it for? 20 years. Oh, yeah. I kept it long enough. I've got twins that are 20. Oh, really? I kept yeah. it long enough to drive them to their grad. That was the uh, plan. It's a, it's a beauty, actually. Never, never seen one before. Oh, yeah. Original interior, huh? Yeah. It's leather. I still, restored the upholstery. Still has leather. This I, is restored? I didn't change it. I, no, but it's... There's a technique it's, you can use. They use it for Rolls Royce and Bentleys. Oh. It's called leathery. You can look it up. So basically, it's like body work. You still fill in all the cracks. Okay. Still, still smells see. like real leather. Oh, well, it is real leather. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has that smell still? Yeah. And then I had a, a buddy of mine, the guy that did all the body work, he painted them. Yeah. 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 drive every day anyways is more no, of a, a showpiece right the, reason, the other reason i'm selling I never, I never use it yeah. i might put two thousand miles a year on this i only insure it for four months and then mm. I, it's in the garage all the time well let me make sure uh, this. so what what is it exactly 1962 chrysler imperial chrysler imperial okay i got the it's only got fifty three thousand miles on it okay i got your number here oh perfect i got it off the windshield 604? No, I have it here. Oh, okay, yeah. 808, right? Yeah. Okay, That's perfect. I just want to take... Tony? Okay, Tony, thanks. Hey, look at the back. I've used it for grads and weddings. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, it's a beauty. Oh, look at the trunk. Yeah. It's some extra you parts, can... too. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it... I had two of these. Okay. The story is, I'm a bus driver. Yep. And I was looking for... Actually, I wanted a 61 because it's got bigger fins yeah and my this guy he says hey my neighbor's got a couple cars for sale they're both the same he said i think they're like 61s and i go and look and they're a 62. he had cancer he was terminal yep and he wanted to get rid of everything before he died so his wife wouldn't have to deal with it yeah true yeah so i took the best parts from both the other car didn't have leather yeah so i wanted this one well there's an extra radio an extra grill huh there's a car cover in there these are all little extra parts that i took off the other car oh yeah yeah so just lots of ones hmm uh, are you, how are you advertising right now anywhere no okay uh, i'm gonna put it on auto trader yeah but i'm not computer savvy i gotta get my because we gotta put pictures in there, right so I, I took some pictures but i gotta get my kids well wow, you need a long garage for that car huh it's wow. in my garage how long is that thing About 25 19 feet. feet 19 feet that's it but Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Let me. Uh, I have a couple friends there looking for these old type cars. So, well, um, maybe a little too fancy for me, but uh, just a beauty. Uh, I never seen one before. Wow. I like how the headlights stick out too. Well, so many. So yeah. so unique stuff like you never well, seen before. That's the last year they had the tail. Yeah, but on even the how top. this head headlight assembly is yeah. never seen that before. Tail lights. The last year they had tail lights on top of the fenders. Wow. Okay, well, thank you for showing to me. It looks uh, awesome. It looks very nice. Okay, let's hear it. Sure. Yeah, I should go to someone that's going to use it more. Well, someone that can enjoy it for sure, right? Yeah. Something like this. Oh yeah, it's quiet. It's not like a muscle car. It sounds good. It doesn't have air. 
Okay. Hmm, very a nice. Cars here. The small ones. Oh, must be full of water one because I, I never see a tire so heavy. Yeah, it's probably full of water. Twice as heavy as this one is the other one. I don't know some people already took the gar took garbage in that didn't get taken away. It's sitting in their driveway, like further up by the garage. Um, this this area here is a wealthy area. A lot of stuff's been picked up. Everything's been picked up pretty well. Some of the poor areas are lower value homes they left a lot of debris behind but here it's spotless even most of the metals picked up so i've seen piles of just even metal was tons of metal and other debris that's totally gone everything i'm not sure if a scrapper got it or was it just the garbage you can see it's really clean out here most of the debris because this is a high tax area the homes are like wealthy right like you know they're all even the other area is wealthy but but you know you're going from like 1.5 to maybe two two to two to two and a half million and maybe up right depends on the you know how old the house is and so on but yeah if i had a if i was gonna live i'd live somewhere around here just because it's so many trails and it's so nice you go to areas that they have you have like wildernesses, like trails and everything. This is really cool. So uh, the guy the car, it was a kind of a nice car there actually. He wants $18,000 for it. That's what he's asking. Uh, he's had the car for 20 years or something. But uh, he said it's a rebuilt mortar. It's got 3,000 miles in a rebuilt mortar. But um, it looks like a nice car. I never seen one so I was kind of neat to show it off on the video just because I mean I've seen a lot of cars but you know a lot of these cars never survived they all got destroyed over well, smash up derby was one of them you used to see in a smash up derby all those big cars would be all smashed apart because it would have a big body right there's a barbecue here but uh, I don't know if I could grab it to get out of the trailer there but it's just too bulky for me to grab. Okay. It's weird how they left all these behind. Some of these are aluminum. No, they look like steel, but some some do come aluminum casing with steel. Like some of these handles maybe are aluminum. I'll take it. That's a computer. I think it's a computer. I think it says ThinkPad. So what is it? Yeah, it's a computer. Okay, that's good. Better than the monitor. So there is the odd thing, but it's very little this area compared to the other areas. Here's a stand here. If that's steel. That's a concrete one. I don't want that one. You can see it's 100% cleaned up. But some of these areas didn't have a crazy amount of trash, but some did. I just don't know this area here because I kind of I kept missing this area because the road splits a certain way. And I would go always go the opposite way for some stupid reason. But anyways, uh, it's a maze, right? But it forks. I always went up the hill and a lot of times these side streets are all dead ends you'll get maybe like five you'll get a branch of one area and there's like five six different cul-de-sacs and streets mixed in okay two more tires if i get something decent i'm gonna rearrange but for now i'll just leave it like that the bikes like i say i should be taking the wheels off but not a lot in this area Man, I got a lot of tires. I can't, cannot believe how many tires I got. 
I must 50 tires at least maybe I got tires and wheels quite a few I haven't count, like, counted them yet but there's quite a few but that does them a favor gets me some HMS that's all and I gotta recycle the tires so tire doesn't cost me nothing it's just labor labor to take it off and labor or just drive it and dump it so win for both of us right and you know they get 18 pounds to 20 pounds HMS it's not big money but I heard steels everything's climbing all the metals are trying to are starting to climb now uh, lead's supposed to be going up copper is going good brass is good aluminum is supposed to be going higher um, I'll tell you it's gonna be uh, good sales for sure but the price is high best time for spring cleanup normally it's never that great but you know when you're getting like 94 cents for aluminum I just don't know why the dirty is so low but I guess because everybody throws a brake hitch with dirty they're not gonna pay any higher which I understand right because Breakage a lot of times you might have steel, but any breakage I throw in there is either electric mortar, which is there, there'll be copper in there, right? Same the weed eaters, right? You got a piece of steel or aluminum and you got a mortar, right? So it's not, you know, I could be stripping them. Like that's why I see some people don't get a dirty price, but they can still take what I'm taking and take the mortar apart and still make the copper money. So what I'm taking, everybody else should be taking either process it or sell it dirty if they have an avenue of doing that because a weed eater itself has got a good mortar so those mortars can have a, a close to half a pound of copper so especially some are heavy and heavy duty the high amperage ones right so like I say I just take things that I know that higher yield right see I kind of bypassed the whole big area see I took the wrong turn now I'm in a whole different area but you know it's gonna be random hit and miss I just gonna drive around fill this vehicle up and then see how it is and maybe dump it because it won't be what really is hard to take this load apart is when I got too many small things mixed in when I got big things I can unload it in like five ten minutes right when you got uh, hundreds of wires and different twisted things crisscrossing each other it's very tough so this is gonna be probably this is definitely the last day for sure for any of this type of uh, spring cleanup. This could be the last video too right now of the spring cleanup. Depending on if, if I fill it up or if there's more stuff kicking around. See they leave TV sets behind right? It's just I got way too many. Even though that was probably behind. okay. Nothing special but I'm just pick it up, clean the yard up. Okay, aluminum, partly aluminum, so we're going to, um, I got a tip right now see that bonus it's got the bicycle on there it's actually a nice bottle I kept one for myself this is actually pretty heavy there's some extruded mixed in here still so I have to uh, clean it cut them down they're not so bad you don't cut them they're a pain nice little stroller no it's like I don't know 25 pounds it's pretty heavy I was here last night haha it's still here
hit me in the head. here last night and you see this a nice piece of aluminum here look at that box probably six at least eight pounds I'm gonna cut that thing it's just stuck in everything Awesome. This is kind of like a private place here, so I came through with a little van. It was really late. This stuff's heavy. It's almost an HMS. Okay. The garbage truck is still, still going around actually. Right now, just past me. I don't know what he's picking up, but these some nice heavy, heavy braces. See these ones, like I say, I got those. The heavy metal for want. It's heavy, heavy me metals. I kind of don't want to wreck that motorcycle, but what are you going to do? I might get my guy, my buddy to work on it. Put a battery in it or something. You'll have battery sitting, right? You can test it. Okay. Figures. I left my uh, cutter. Oh, I got my cutter. I'll take it anyways, because sometimes that's aluminum. I can sell, yeah, I can sell dirty. Take the two bikes here. Those windows are up there actually. Which we're gonna take a look, see what's left. There was lots last night. If you're watching my video, actually I released it this morning. No, I released it um about a few hours ago maybe. Yeah, I can't remember because uh like I say I forgot to uh process it last night usually I'll and process it and load it GoPro keeps cutting off all the time every time I talk I have something to say shuts off I don't know why the other ones didn't do that this one doesn't well, this one doesn't have a screw oh here's a screw on this thing That. So that means that means the garbage guys took all the glass. The scrapper would take this, huh? So it's actually good weight to stop. That means the garbage guy took all the glass. I thought a scrapper did, but nope. They would have took this. Why would you leave this frame here? Any, any good scrapper would just break the frame like me. See, I don't know if I want to take all this. 
This one's it's not a lot of glass. I mean, not a lot of metal because you have too much glass. If it had a big frame around it, it wouldn't be too bad. It's only like a dollar a pound, 97 cents, I think. I'm gonna leave those. Leave them for now. What do I take? What do I take? Maybe this one here. It's pretty heavy, this. I'm not sure what's in it. And these things are heavy too. I don't know, like, really what's in this thing. Let's see if I can give her the canister. Hmm. Oh. Maybe that's why they chucked it, because it doesn't work. I don't want that part. I'll point it to the printer. It's still pretty heavy. It must have weight in there or something. Oh, nice. you found a treasure right yeah, there. You got nice little doggies there. Yeah, these are like... Uh, Girls or one boy, girl and boy? Uh, these are like um, Japanese. What are, are they called? What are they called? Shibas. Shibas? Yeah. Come on. They're so cute. Wow. But that's... Six people. These are babies, right? No, these are full, like... Full grown? Oh yeah, 12 years old. Oh wow, they're beautiful. I want one. Yeah. They're very, very friendly. Um, they're they're like called Shibas? Shiba Inus. Shiba Inus. Wow, she's beautiful. Yeah. Female. Yeah, I know she is. Yeah, I can see by the purple. I mean yeah, the pink. The, the pinky. Yeah. yeah got, got I had to put my dog down. Is almost 20 years old. Oh, Japanese chin. Oh yeah. Papillon. Pink. Oh yeah. Beautiful the, dog, the but Japanese dog. They last long. But his back was going and his hips are going. Oh. You, are you friendly? Yeah, he's friendly, but he's kind of like if he doesn't know you very well, then he's kind of like who's this guy? Look at he. Wow, they're both 12 years old. Yeah, they're brother and sister. They're in beautiful, beautiful. So like, they're like really healthy looking. Oh yeah. I give them good food, a lot of love. What kind of food? What kind of food do you give them? I give him um, uh, grain, uh, grain free mostly. Something with the grain. The biggest free. thing is you love your animal. Yeah. They live long and are healthy. And, and not you, only you don't that, abuse them. And... We do a lot of walking. Oh yeah. Like we go in the mud bay. We take them on my uh, truck. They're beautiful dogs. Yeah. What, what, what kind of work you do? I do just scrap metal and demolition and asbestos inspections and testing. Oh, I do everything. Great. Yeah. I think your truck is running very rich, eh? You can smell that. I, I spent three thousand dollars on it. Yeah, it still does. Then a guy told me old oh, transmission thing is slipping. He puts twenty five thirty dollars of some garbage in there, huh. and then then he says, oh, it's misfiring. Then he tells you. Yeah, it's a then he tell tells me he needs it's distributor. He's telling you all these different things. Well, I'm not spending no more money on this. Oh, that's it. No, because I'm going to buy a big sprinter, maybe either a diesel or electric. But a hundred thousand, right? Yeah, those are beautiful dogs. dogs. I like the color too. Full grown, so hard to believe. But that's what you want, that type of dog where the mid dog is good, mid size. A dog that's too big, it's just, if it gets too aggressive and you, you know, you got to hold it back and it, needs, it wants to run, you know, because it's big, right? Lots of energy. Smaller dogs, they run for 10 minutes and they're done. They're done for the day. Okay, so we're doing really good. Really friendly guy. We talked for a few minutes, sir. You know, that's what I like. You talk to friendly people, right? They give you time of day, you know, back and forth, right? Some people, in some areas, say hi. They don't even look at you like there's, like they don't even see you. But anyways, uh, so we're back in another area. And this is the area they throw everything away. So, we're going to get what we can. 
Don't just throw those fans in, even though I don't want fans, but just to get them off the street. I don't want the space here. They can easily deal with it. I'm just gonna systematically put stuff in the back. See, I hate these doors. They keep they're supposed to sit in that in a suction cup. They don't do nothing. They just sit there for a second and they pop back out. Almost got a scrapyard load. But no, I still have to. There's too much stuff in there. Aluminum frames and. We'll see. I don't want to scrap yard for 200 pounds, not worth it. Okay. Uh, how did I miss this one? This is old school copper. This could be copper, this style. How did I miss this? Usually all these ones used to come a mile away with the wood grain. Must have been buried in some crap. Because he had a lot of stuff. A lot of cardboard and stuff in this area here I saw. They actually did a good job, these cleanup guys. I cannot believe how much how much stuff is gone in this little bit of time. Because I'm I'm starting really late. It's all been all cleaned up already. We're just gonna Throw as much as we can on and call it a day. We're not gonna cut anything unless it's something decent. Like there's frames here, bed springs, and it's just you know, blades are too expensive and the blades they only last a few cuts now. Seven dollars for a blade that does five cuts. And they tell you three there's a, now there's one, there's no times, there's three times, five times, twenty-five times, fifty times, but that means what you have three cuts because that's what it looks like now three cuts was oh, wheel there tire and wheel I'll take that oh it's too it's a bit of a big one of it's a 16 incher I'm sure I, I should be able to do 16 inches. It's just sometimes hard to break the bead. Oh, it's heavy. But that's a, a lot of weights. Oof, that was heavy. These computers weren't there before, but look like they're stripped out. They weren't there before because I know. I would have saw this. I'm going to take them anyways. The heavy little boxes. There's lots of room to get across. Probably a student driver. They have tons of room. I can put my big truck through there. Oh. Yeah, I cut the cord on this thing now. I'm picking it up. Is that funny? I cut the cord about three days ago on this one. But they had a big pile there before, but it disappeared. And I thought, you know, something looks weird. But the garbage picked this up a day early. I remember it was next to that PT Cruiser there. So, I might fill as much as I can and maybe I'll take the scrap yard and just leave whatever I'm keeping on it. If it's easy to get out, we'll see. If I get lots of small stuff, you know, just pile right to the roof and then offload it. Wheel. 
take this time here. Cleaning up, picking up litter, see? 10 cent reward. Okay, oh, this one there, right here. Oh, there's four there. I keep driving by and I see that, you don't notice it. Okay, well, I got more than I expected. I may have to offload. It's just air anyways, so. Okay, let me load this up. Here's a solid steel pipe. Oh, it's a heavy one. See, that's what they should be like. These don't bend. The other ones are just hollow tin. So a nice piece of HMS. 11 tires and wheels right now. Unless I got more that way out, huh? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve tires and wheels. I got a ballast. I can't believe it. There's ballast sitting out here. See the car stalled just like that. Why would it stall? Doesn't make sense. See, you pay all that kind of money. You know, the guy did work on the mortar. You think he would know? You could tell it's pretty rich. Even the guy walking the dog. This is burning rich. So the guy was. I'm not going there ever again. My well, wife wants to go there. It's up to her. You know, a mechanic like that would know. I told him it stinks it's exhaust. It runs rich. I told him it needs to be. That's why I said I want spark plugs, wires, cap, rotor. That's just cutting out obvious things I wanted. Obvious things, you know, you think could be the problem. Then if he says distributor, well, he'll change his distributor and he'll say it's this and it's that and it's something else and vacuum there. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be to 10 other things. So I said, forget it. A well, microwave sitting there. Well, inverter, whatever it is, we're taking it. It's got a cord, so I bet you it's a transformer. I bet you a transformer because I cut every inverter I saw. Oh yeah, oh, old school copper, yes. It's a big copper one, 100%. This weighs three times more than the other ones. Oh, right on, got a copper one. I know these, I strip hundreds of these things. After a while you know what's what. Cut the cord off just because of the stores. Leave it there. Wow, I'm happy with that one. Sitting there by itself, probably behind a bunch of garbage. All right, I would have saw this. This has got a really good mortar. These are the good mortars. It's an actual mortar. It's a round mortar. Even if you don't strip, like even if you don't take the mortar apart for copper, you can salt, and it's probably about three, three and a half, four pounds. And you know, the way they're, they're paying 54 cents, if it's four pounds, you know, it's a, it's almost, well, copper's a little high right now, but it still works out with not doing nothing. See, if you look at my uh, my uh, thing, see, it doesn't show you where I, what gear I am. Everything is going, this thing's 30 years old, it's too old. Well, it's the fuel efficiency part. If it had a, actually a different mortar, like a really good mortar, maybe a better efficiency, maybe it would be better. But but structurally, it's strong. It's good. This okay. earlier, like five minutes ago. Isn't it weird how I get everything in twos and threes? Right? Maybe I'll never see another one for two weeks. You know? See, there's another one right there. one's a long one that's what I'm saying I get the weirdest things I see something that I never seen for two years I find two that same day same when I last time I found steel rims I found three that day it's weird three car batteries 
how do you figure that? So you never find car batteries, and I find three different locations, right? And I find three in one shot, and I found three different locations. I found three. So we'll snipe, we'll snipe all the good stuff. This piece of metal, I think, in that rubble. We'll take a look. But I don't know why they even put concrete like that. No one's, nobody will take it anyways. We were just. Plastic. I don't know. I just understand why people put so much garbage. They know they're not going to take it, but now they have to. I guess this process is clean. Spring cleanup is cleaning your yard. Then later throwing in the garbage. Either you have to pay for it or just dump it yourself, right? Gets people motivated, right? Whatever they don't take, they'll just uh, pay for di disposal, which is okay, right? A lot of stuff. I think people wait a whole year just to hold their garbage and car parts, and which is good for us metal-wise, but but pure garbage. And I think people take from other locations, like say from Surrey, they bring it here because a lot of people have more than one home. And they have renter homes and stuff and they're always bringing garbage you see it all the time they're offloading trucks and stuff from different locations i mean it's okay if they do a little bit but if they that's why siri shut it down because it was getting ridiculous the amount of what, what people were doing they were throwing so much garbage that uh they were just over abusing it right but it's too bad because it was siri was the best the best I found so much collectibles and antiques I used to have like 50 60 bar barbecue lids tops and bottoms you see there's all kinds of weird stuff here a couple little tables maybe I can throw those in see he's got glass See, someone stripped all the frames off the stuff. See this? This one you have to take the corners out. I'm not gonna bother. It's not worth it. I mean, if I had time, you know, I could cut that up, but it's just like I say, not really worth it. If I was going to say, uh, well, if I was doing, uh, if the guy said, can you help me, uh, I need that, I would say, okay, I'd, sure, but I'm not going to go out of my way. There's some heavy metal sitting right in that pile there, buried in lumber. Well, this one here, oh, lazy HMS. Ten pounds HMS, buck fifty. Probably more than ten pounds. Actually, it's pretty heavy. So we're, we're after HMS. Oof. Nice quarter inch almost. Bag of wires here. I like they just do it out. It's all wire. I feel it all. Wow, it's a five pound bag of wire. Okay, I found some I found some good stuff here. I found this uh, winch a winch thing. All aluminum dirty. And this is aluminum. Not like a strapping type thing. Another type of strapping thing. mess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check that pile over here just because it's just too much building material there could be sinks and tap not sinks but taps and all that in there just too much material they never took it away they don't take any well they don't want any demo stuff they said
We didn't get much in here. It's worth a look. Worth a look. Take this milk jug. It's clean. That's aluminum. My hand. This little pole. It's off of one of those security signs. Okay, well, we're still doing a pretty good number. The metal here, I'll just pick that up just for metal. Clean up the street. Okay, just where I got an electric bike, but I didn't see this in the ground. This is all heavy stuff. This is HMS, man. This is like 30 pounds. Super heavy. I throw this stuff in HMS. This thick stuff. Oh. I can just cannot believe how heavy it is. So I pick those pieces up. See? Not fantasy. Older printers are we taken. There's a jack on the ground. See, it's got the old, see, they have good circuit boards. There's another one there, too. I might grab, but this one here is an old one. They have actually pretty good circuit boards. It's got onboard memory, right? And they use those flat chips. Brother, this one, brotherly. Oh. So self stripping, put that one back. And this one here, this might be this is newer, see, probably not as good. But the other one's got that RS232 port. Zero port. I think it's RS232. I'm not really sure if it's the thing of the right, the right one, but that printer is probably 15 pounds. The second one's pretty heavy, but it's newer. It takes a different type of plug. The old one takes a long, the long printer type plugs, so the circuit board. And we'll do a video. You know, that's why I take all these uh, fax machines, the old telephone fax machines. Some have a really, really good board. So you just don't know which ones they are randomly, you don't know, but you can tell if they're old, I'll take them. Not those big balloon printers, forget it. There's nothing in them. Okay, so I think we're gonna check that area. Work our way up or something we'll see it's the truck i like to buy it's that style it's more square and i want a taller one and longer version but i want the square one this is probably fairly new this one's a pro master so i'm not really sure how the mechanical part is but i like that that's nice something like that i'll definitely pick it one up for sure i just had to figure out the details first um, little vacuums there. See, it stalls all the time. Stupid thing. Why oh, it's stalling? The guy he took it for a test drive. Oh, yeah, this drive's good, but blah blah blah. This has been here for a long time. The cords are cut. This is weird. weird. What are they? Weird hose attachments to it. Hmm, the like rubber bands. Weird, huh? This is string. Hmm. Nylon string. I'm gonna cut this hose off. I don't want the hose. So I brought all the tools I need.
We just got a little bit of garbage. She just threw in the garbage after. This is at least. It could be some sort of. Uh, well, it's a push, push button. Okay, heavy little thing actually. You know, five, five, seven pounds. Okay, you would never expect this to be aluminum frame here. The sink here, come on. Corded on that pile too. Extruded. I got a fan a second ago. Quartered on the pile, so let's see what it is. What I guess here? Can't tell, so I'm gonna cut it. At least the cord's long, six feet long. Oh, it's empty. Yeah, that's. I'd say it's pretty empty. I think it's aluminum, it's light. It's not heavy, so usually they're a little bit heavier, I would think. Put this cord here. I take the mortar, but I don't want to be dealing with all the dirt inside of it. Who knows what they're vacuuming? I'll take this. You see all this drywall dust. Could be asbestos even, who knows? First weed eater. I think I got one, maybe, earlier. Wow, I just can't believe those streets. Those guys did an awesome job. Like, they took everything. Well, that's actually... Ooh, this is actually good. It's a tempered glass. Let's see if I might take it. Because it's tempered, it's just gonna go in a million pieces, so... It's easy to deal with. When it's glass, it's a nightmare. Let's throw in the back. I just don't see tempered mark. And it should be tempered. It's really heavy. No, oh, whatever. It's only. It's just glass is sharp. It's hard on your boat. You know, could cut yourself. It's pretty heavy glass. I can actually sell this window the way it is. It like it could be like, could be like 15 cents a pound. Who knows? They will buy it. They do buy it. But they give you a really good all, but it works out. I know Ken took a bunch in there and it was worked out the same or better. So that's an option too. Okay, another another good deed for the day. Sound like money actually. Screws or something. Okay, well, it's a heavy one, got a double blower mortar. So I'll take this. I can feed it to the top. So they just have to deal with the cardboard now. Everybody wins. I'm surprised they never took it, but there's nothing out here. This area is super clean. Super clean. I don't through the cardboard, but I have tons of cardboard in my yard. I have to deal with. And I don't like to say, someone's got to do the little bit of clean up yourself too, right? You can't do it all. So, most of the stuff is taken here. This kind of area, I don't think I even looked. It's such a big area, but if you go the wrong way, you have to kind of go certain ways because it's like a maze. 
and if you go off the maze you just go the same lo location all the time so I've well, got one thing anyways okay I don't think the bell is in there it's pretty late actually Somebody may have took the ballast out and left it because the guys I found lots of ballast is missing. I mean, I don't know. It should be heavier, I think. Yeah, I think it should be heavier. Just pocket here and there. This is a pancake flipper. I don't know how my tire fell down. I was just driving normal and the tire fell down. I don't know how it got here. And that tire is so, so heavy. Where'd it come from? It was up there and slid down. You know, 16 inch tires, I mean, the rim's gotta be 25 pounds because here, I'm having, what's that shiny there? Just the garbage, okay. I'm having problems like like lifting it is that heavy 16 inch so I'm thinking 25 pounds just for the steel and the tire on top of it it feels like it's 50 pounds for each tire so I'm not really sure how much maybe 35 pounds some of those rims are old and they're super heavy which that may be so there's value there right hopefully I can break them easy and if that machine gives me problems it's gonna buy a, a modern one so, and they're only about 1500 so they're not that much money. Oh, four tires and wheels. Okay, I'll turn around and grab those tires and wheels. Four more. Do I get a record here? I got 13, 17. I think 17 is my record. Okay, hold on. Not anymore. The tires rims are here. I don't know how many inches they are. Find a lot of 16s. 17 inch. Hmm. I'll have to cut them off, I guess. Okay, let me organize this up here. The tire, I gotta reposition it and okay, hold on. Yeah, there's a lot of area I never went to. Uh, I never been in this area at all, ever. So Next time I'm gonna get some sort of mapping system because you know sometime an area like this could have really good scrap metals, you don't know. You know, like who knows, they're all newer houses, right? Or you know well these are maybe a little too new, but you get the ones from the you know two thousands, early nineties. They always change taps and do renovations, right? But never seen this location ever. That I can remember. Not this year anyways, for sure. A bunch of stumps there. Looks like a palm tree or something they cut up. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. As long as we got room and we got material, we're gonna start fill keep filling, right? The jumper cables got lucky. This is some stuff here over here too. Like a fan and some stuff. Jumper cables right on. A nice long cord here. That was, uh... Ah, that's that's actually nice. What is all this stuff here? This is all. It's all band stuff. Stuff. That's actually really nice. I'm gonna have to uh, put it over here for now. Determine what that is. It's a uh, it's band equipment. These are all for digital drums. Oh, all digital stuff. You open the front seat. This stuff was good, cool stuff.
and it's heavy it's not light it's not like cheap plastic it's it's all heavy duty and heavy those are like and there's also that uh the key i don't want this thing here shade will just be a nightmare So a lucky pocket here. Sometimes that stainless steel had a few of them that were stainless steel. We put a magnet on and see. Yeah, see the magnetic stainless steel. Same color, identical. I'm gonna grab that shade too. Because well, this is part of it too. Or no, it's just a stand. This, this is probably extrude, uh, cast, probably cast material. That's yeah, only a piece of glass. I don't think it's brass. Well, that was uh, that was really great. So step two. Okay. See this one here is what is this? Can record here or something? Oh it's a light. Oh it's very heavy in this light. Occupational hazard. Almost debate about throwing this in. I like the circuit board's not bad. Maybe I'll just take the circuit board off its where's the screws. There's just too much garbage on there otherwise. Take the whole thing when you could just take take the gravy. See that? Otherwise, it's just too much trash. That's a good-looking board, anyways. The board is good. I'm not sure what this thing is here. Maybe it's a grinder. Maybe it's pretty heavy. Probably a grinder. Coffee grinder maybe. Oh, some stuff here. I'm gonna throw that dolly in, I think. I'll throw what I can and wheels are shot. Okay, we'll throw this in. Didn't even notice that pile. I just turned my head there and it was boom. Well, the sinks come out first. That was a problem. And it's really dark in that corner. Salt steel. Mm -hmm. 
See, but they'll probably come back for it. They might take this metal still, even. Hard to say. I see them take, come back for barbecues two days later, right? So, then their GPS, they just notify their, their GPS. If I can put this up there. heavy to say not that light the rest of the deal have to deal with it a few things Still got room for some things, but running out of areas. The old steel. Well, maybe a little hard to say. Maybe not. Some are, but I think this is a cheap one. It just feels so like heavy and dense. The stupid thing fell down already. Yeah, I'll just try to jam, jam it in there again. Okay. Stainless. Stainless. This one's steel. Steel. Aluminum. Still out here, hard to believe, huh? Okay, well. Still out, and this was picked up two days ago. This area, or uh, yeah, a couple days ago. That's gross. Lucky it's all petrified. Man. Look at all the stainless steel pots. Paint cans. Even this thing is probably like three, four pounds. Steel walk. It's thick stuff too. Look at stuff. Ooh, that's nice. It's all extruded. Wow. Hmm. So it's all aluminum. I'm not sure what kind of room I have, but uh, let's get it ready. Small ones too. It's all sorts of good stuff here. Look at this all this kind of metal here. These are the barbecue. Part of a barbecue. Some of the stuff I might be able to unscrew, like this. So 
not doing much. Yeah, it's coming slowly but surely. See, this thing is super heavy. That bottom piece, I don't know why. Okay. Sometimes these are stainless steel too, these. It's steel. Let's see if I can get it on there. It would be nice. I mean, I do, do got opening there. I took off quite a bit of weight already, so it's all aluminum. This is where the weight is here. Oh, that's aluminum there, extruded. This thing, bottom weighs probably, well, 25 pounds. I'm just gonna load as much as possible up. Well, this is the other part. like nothing it's cast aluminum the bottom is cast unexpected that's why it's super light cast cast is where the money is heavy it's a grab bag of little pl all the plug cords cut off and stuff grab bag I'm just gonna Gonna shuffle stuff around just to fill up all the little holes. I want the barbecue top too, or bottom, whatever it is. Okay. Okay. Plastic. 